Hello everybody and welcome to some typing tips from a college student who can for some reason type at 165 words per minute. I made a video on typing a few weeks back and it's been getting a lot of positive traction lately so I wanted to make another video about the same topic and, and throughout this video I want to mention some specific tips and tricks that I keep in mind when I'm practicing typing and what my practice regime might look like. Back in August, there was the UTC, the Ultimate Typing Championship, and I really wanted to compete in it. I thought I had a good chance at getting in the top 25. I placed 51st, but I developed a pretty good typing regime throughout the days going up to the competition that I practiced every single day. And so in this video, I'm gonna kind of walk everybody through that and scatter some of the most important tips and tricks that I learned from that practice time and just over the past several years. So as I go through and show you how I practice typing when I sit down and do it, those tips will come up naturally through the video and you can actually find them on the video bar below on YouTube and also with timestamps in the description. Back in high school in one of my English classes, I was typing up an essay and I was looking down at my book and I was typing and someone next to me mentioned, dude, you type really fast. You should like look into typing competitions. And that's when I first found out about websites like 10 Fast Fingers. Whenever I start any sort of practice, I go on 10 Fast Fingers, do one of their tests and that becomes my beginning metric. That being said, tip number one, one is to always use a metric when you practice typing. When you're trying to work on just about anything, tracking your progress is super important. When I practice typing, before I do anything else, I just give this one minute test to go and just see where my words per minute are at. This helps me see that by the end, if I've increased my words per minute, I've successfully practiced well that day. Then toward the end of my session, I come back and see where I'm at then. That being said, I'm gonna take my watch off. My fingers are feeling pretty cold, but we'll see how I do. One fifty nine, not bad. So that's where I'm starting off today. My fingers are quite cold, so I do blame the slowness on that. But now I have my starting metric. I use ten fast fingers for a multitude of reasons. But if I go ahead and look at my profile, you can see a graph of how you've improved over time. So on the bottom right here is the basic typing test, and you can go you can go really far back. Man, my hair's a mess today. Another great way to see how you've improved within a small period of time is to use one of ten fast fingers typing competitions. These are especially great because if I go ahead and join this one that ends in five hours, I don't want it to expire while I'm recording this. Video, the text on this test will always stay the same. So I can do it now and then come back later and see how I compare it with the same text. Uh, so tip number two is to learn how to touch type if you don't already. Touch typing is typing without looking at the keyboard. Just recently, I got these stickers on my keyboard that show Russian or Cyrillic characters because I'm learning Russian. And in trying to learn how to type, I got three words per minute because I had to keep looking at where the characters were. Over time, your muscle memory will develop. So do push yourself. Definitely keep that in mind because touch typing, if you don't already do it, will be the single most important factor to increasing your typing speed tenfold. One of the best ways to do this, and it might sound kind of boring, but I'm using an example from real life, something you might already do so that you can kill two birds with one stone, is to type up notes or when you're typing up a quote for an essay or something, do your best to not look at the keyboard. That being said, you also don't want to be pecking with two fingers or four fingers. You want to see if you can be making use of all of your fingers. You have 10 digits, don't use four of them. The only finger I think I never use is my right thumb because I hit the space bar with my left thumb all the time. I got 155 because during that I felt that I was reading at my typing speed, which is uh, one of the most important tips of this video, which is number five, but we'll get to that in a moment. Before we do, I would like to say that tip number three is to remember that typing is a physical exercise at its core. Now, when you practice your typing, not necessarily everyday use, but you should always be stretching yourself out. Some stretches I love came from finding stretches for artists, and that is taking your wrists and bending them back, opposite way forward, twisting your wrist just to get some flexibility there. My personal favorite is to spread your fingers out as far as you can, push your palms together, and then bring them down towards you as if you're doing this, but keep those palms together. Do those for like 15 seconds each before you start typing. It'll get your hands warm when it's cold out. My fingers are ice cubes right now. And if you're sitting down for a typing session, your muscles in your hands can get tired. Your wrists can get tired. I would say I hit seven out of 10 keys with my left hand. So I usually feel it in my left hand pretty, pretty early on. Plus our anatomy is not built for typing. Our hands are not supposed to be like this. It's just not meant to be. See if you can hold your hands above your keyboard or just gently putting your wrist there. Be careful. Know that it's a physical exercise. Don't do it for too long at once. Moderate yourself. Going straight into tip number four, use multiple typing sites or typing program. I say that I have an average typing speed of 165 words per minute. And I say that my best is 174 words per minute because of 10fastfingers.com. The problem with that is that 10fastfingers gives you the top, top 200 words. 
When you're gonna be typing anything in reality, it's gonna have punctuation, there's gonna be very complex words. 10 Fast Fingers gives you a minute to type as many words as you can. You have to look for other programs and other websites to balance out this lack of punctuation. I know NitroType is a great site, but personally I use TypeRacer and TyperX. I used TypeRacer for the longest time and TypeRx came up because they hosted the UTC. But as you can see here, my average on TypeRx right now is 136.2 and this is because of punctuation. Now, if I look at my all time best on TypeRx, it's 181.2 and I've gotten 110 before. I've gotten really slow speed on here because the passages can be quite difficult. So doing this gets you used to typing complex words, complex character combinations. Now, KeyBR is another website I would highly recommend for anyone learning to touch type or who just wants to become better at typing. I won't touch upon it too long, but they create pseudo English words and they give you amazing, amazing metrics. The only problem is, and this is gonna sound weird, but it's probably to prevent cheating or something. If you type above 140, it won't log your speed or your metrics. So I have my <laughs> initial metric on 10 fast fingers out of the way. I'll go through a few different passages on TypeRacer and TyperX. Essentially, I just go through 15, 20 minutes of these kind of passages. Contempor like the... Ugh. Now, Type Racer is pretty cool because it gives you these little stats up here. So the fastest I typed at this was 178. The slowest was at the beginning at 91. Also, I forgot to mention, keep a good posture. It is so important. produced the very opposite. Yeah, so again, 116, some words caught me up and here I literally had 76 and 75 words per minute. That one was rough. <laughs> and I recognize the passage, I love that book. So this is the fantastic part about Type Racer. I really love just seeing, okay, or this is where I slowed down, like where was this? You can click on it, you can see it. Not so much a tip, but if you're doing typing tests, get used to using Control A delete. Uh, it'll save you time in terms of backspacing. And sometimes when you type fast enough, you're like three words in until you realize you made a mistake. We're gonna move on to Typer X. Typer X is a little more modern and it's just kind of where I take it a bit more seriously, so to speak. <laughs> Some of these passages really get you thinking too. So whenever I hit 140, that's kind of like, all right, on these kinds of sites. My goal is usually to hit 150-ish on these sites. Again, my fingers are ice cubes, so I'm not quite up the part today. But anyway, good time for tip number five. Try to type at your reading speed. Do not read at your typing speed. As you read, type to catch up to that. Don't read to catch up to your typing. It's kind of hard to explain, so I'm going to try to show you what I mean. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the default typing test on 10 fast fingers, because I believe this is a principle easiest to explain on here. By the time I have finished typing never, I'm usually two words ahead when I'm reading. Now, when I make an error, that's when I slow down. Why do I slow down after I make an error? Because I have to go back and read the current word I'm typing. So I have to be conscientious that once that error is done, keep moving forward again. You can read faster than you can type. I believe the average typing speed is 30 to 40 words per minute. The average reading speed is around 200 to 250 words per minute. I guess it's kind of just saying read ahead. Open the with talk need over now enough took one always where it came down head once that sound try spell mountain just not night so yeah slow down there on mountain anyway hopefully that demonstrates the point i don't quite know how to word it but i'm gonna go ahead and do some more races on typer x and then come back to 10 fast fingers and see how i've done that was miserable <laughs> man my fingers are ice cubes right now. And I know that's just an excuse, but. Oh, oh, I got cocky. Dude, I was at like 145 and I got cocky and hit the period and lifted my hand. All right, so I'm doing one more race and then finishing up my metrics and getting into my last tip about how often you should practice your typing. Okay, not ending on the best note, but that's okay. So I've returned to the typing competition that I did earlier and I got 155. So I wanna see if I can get 156 or better. That is the metric, do 1% better than you started with. Measuring progress is important when you do any skill. You wanna know where you started and so you wanna know where you're gonna end up. If you're gonna make a goal of, for me, 180 words per minute, you have to have stepping stones. Okay, I'm 165 right now, let's hit 166 by the end of the week. Another important thing when trying to get better at anything is to practice consistently and externally. In other words, practice on a consistent schedule and apply it places. 
Now, pretty much any day, if I decide to practice typing, it's at night. I'm making an exception for this video because I need the lighting from the window, but I would highly recommend that at night, take 15, 20 minutes and just do some typing tests. Nothing else is going on, the day is done. Why not practice some typing, right? Consistency is super important and practice externally. So when you're typing messages to friends, if you don't apply what you learn, you're never gonna end up learning it. As this video wraps up, I'd love to see you try this for yourself. Go ahead on 10fastfingers.com, see what your starting score is, do two or three type racer competitions, then come back to 10 Fast Fingers and try to get something that is at least one WPM better than what you started with and post it in the comments below. Let me know if this kind of system works for you. Let me know if you see this instant progress. One day you might get 61 when you warm up and end with 70. One day you might start with 70 and end with 65. Success is pretty volatile, but as it goes up and down in the big picture, it will gradually go up. Can I get better than 155? Let's find out. All right, 168, so that's a drastic improvement. I think my fingers are actually warm after doing this a while. So I've improved, we got better. I made some errors, but that's okay. In doing this 30 minute practice session or, or so, you know, recording the video, I went from 155 to 168. If I went from 155 to 156, I'd be equally as happy. It's all about after I've warmed up and now I'm ready to, you know, really move. So take this metric thing and do it over time. I remember back when I was in eighth grade, I was typing at like 80 words per minute and my teacher was impressed. And then in sophomore year, I think I tested at like 120 and now I'm at 165. And that's the progress over about seven or eight years. So, and I didn't ever seriously practice until like February when I went from 140 to 160. Hopefully I'll be able to hit 180, but that's just my goal. Let me know what your goal is down below. What made you look up how to type faster? Why are you on this video? I'd love to hear your thoughts, questions, comments, whatever. Love to see comments. What did you start with? What did you end off with? If you went on a typing test right now, take one minute and just do it really quick. Take action on this video. If you don't apply what you practice, are you really learning anything? So I'll leave you with that food for thought, I suppose. But alas, thanks again for watching. Don't forget to keep typing. Have a good one. And as always, don't forget to stay awesome. Peace out.